Hey guys, welcome to my fourth scratch tutorial. And today we're going to be using the all like we're going to use the techniques we learned in the last video to make a scrolling platformer and use that to make a scrolling game, which is not a platformer, it's more like it has a definite map like a maze. So I'm going to re rename this to maze. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do this quickly. So, let's go to green flag. Make a green flag. Set his size to that's very large, maybe eighty. And tell yeah, no, that's okay. And tell him to go to x zero and y zero. Now that we've got that. That's really basic. It just means you'll go there when the thing begins. Very, very basic. Okay, so we're gonna add, we're gonna actually make a, two variables. One is called scroll x, like we used in the last video. This one's gonna be called scroll y, which is different because this is a maze. I'm gonna actually show them just for now. So that you can understand. You would hide them in the original game. And we're gonna make the move uh we're gonna make script so up arrow down arrow left arrow and right arrow. Let's put them all now this is gonna be, and I've got the sprite here, it's only got four costumes, up, down, left, and right, that's all it's got, it's really simple. Now we've got this, um, we've got the script right over here, now I'm gonna take this and put it in here, so I'm, I'm gonna give it a special script. Instead of actually moving across the screen, we're gonna have that scroll so for these two left arrow and right arrow it's gonna be like our platformer negative five goes into right arrow and five goes into left arrow so now that we've got that we can do that to the scroll y put in five put in negative five the negative 5 goes in the up arrow, the 5 goes in the down arrow. And by the way, we're gonna set, we're gonna take these two out and set scroll x and scroll y to 0 at the beginning. Cause, so now as you can see, he's really fast. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we've got right now. Alright, so now that we've got the now I want to use the costumes, so this is if you want to, but you don't have to. I'm just gonna put in these costumes. Uh, I mean up, put it in here, and down, put it in here. Very simple. Now we're gonna make it terrain. Well, not really a terrain, but a map. And then we're gonna make yeah, so I'll make a map and I'll see you when I've done that. Alright, hey guys, so I've made this very small map. I just wanted to put, remember to put it into front layer so that the map doesn't go in front of him. Yeah, so you can make your own map. It's got to be really big because we're going to have more of these sprites. So make it really big like this. Make it really big. Make sure you do that. And go to uh, make a green flag script. It's going to be almost exactly like our old one for our platformer. It's just going to be go to x0, y0. Instead of just an x, instead of just a set x, we're going to have a set y2. And you, you probably remember the script we used. Yeah, it's set x2. Well, we're going to set the X to scroll X plus, and we're going to set the Y to scroll Y plus. And here I'm going to put in 480, 
you put 480 in here too it's a special number and here you're going to put in zero and here you're going to put in zero now uh, you'll see that this works you see you see how this works well he can walk through walls but it's much better now i'll make him a little smaller because it looks a bit yeah that's okay it's much better so now at least he can walk through the wall he can't walk he can walk through the walls but at least he can walk now he can really move around. so now let's make the script that defines the gravity not the gravity i mean defines the physics i'm gonna make a green flag script right here and i'm gonna put in a forever loop because this will happen when green flag is clicked until the stop sign is clicked so let's do this i'm gonna take out an if and i'm gonna take out an equals to and i'm gonna take out from here a costume number well not costume number costume name now make sure you've named these costumes up down right and left make sure you've named that correctly because they'll come in importantly now i'm gonna copy this copy that oh. oops copy this all right now i'm gonna name them up, down, left, and right. Now, we can put them into here. Now, we're going to take out another set of ifs. And we're going to go in here. And now, pay attention to the color of your walls. My walls are black, so it's okay. So, I'm going to just go here click on that and I'll give you the color so mine is just zero 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 it'll be really simple to memorize so I'm gonna put this here duplicate all right now we've got those the up arrow switch costume so now we're going now that we're going to do something so we're going to go against these if costume is up and it's touching that then it will stop it will go against it so i'll explain that if the up arrow clicked if costume name is equal to up then we can put in a five in here and put it into here but this one for down we can go here and put in since that's a 5, we'll put in a negative 5, which will go against that. For left arrow, we can take this, put in a negative 5. Go down here, put that in here. If you think about it, it's not that complex. Now put that in here and put it in here. Make sure you put these into the right one. So this one with the up goes in the up one. This one with the down goes in the down one. This one with the left goes in the left one. And this one with the right goes in the right one. Now let's test what we've made. We can't go. Wow. All right, now let's get back in there. Oh, ah. <laughs> All right, now what we need to fix is that all right if so we need to fix this down the problem the reason that it did that is because we are so if we take this out and explore it more clearly it says that if our power press do that but we need to make it so that it can only do that function if no other keys are pressed so to fix that it's really easy just take out a key pressed put in an any go to operators take out a not put that into here and put it into here now that's the reason that it does so we can fix it really easily by just putting this in here 
Now, now we can fix it. Take the up arrow, put it in there. You can take the down arrow, put it in there. You can take the left arrow, put it in there. Take the right arrow and put it in that way. And put it in there. It's yeah, it's getting a bit more complex. But now it should work. Oops, what is going on? Then. Yeah. So. We can do that. And we need to put in a repeat on top. This is getting very complex. Sorry about that. Um, put in a knot. And then, yeah. So if we take this, duplicate it and put it in here. Duplicate it, duplicate it, duplicate this. This is getting a gigantic script. And then put in a down arrow. Put in a right arrow and put in a left arrow. Simple. Now, take this, put, put the left arrow in the left arrow, put the right arrow in the right arrow, clean up the box to make it unmessy. Then, take these two up here. Down arrow goes in the down arrow. Up arrow goes in the up arrow. So now, if we click the green flag, it should work. So, yeah. You can take these out, 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 and take these out, and take these out. Now, it'll be really simple. Now that we've put in a repeat until, oh. We took up a lot of space, so yeah. Now that we put in repeat until yeah, it's blocked now. Can't do that anymore. See? It won't let it do that anymore. So that's how you fix that problem. That that took a lot of time. So I'm gonna yeah. So you, so the, how this works is you have to put in more and more maps like this, continuously put in a lot more and the more the better. Alright, <laughs> I accidentally just moved that. Never press arrow keys while you're in the costume section. So that's close. I wanted to expand in that direction, so. It's open. So I'm gonna make a, f so I'm gonna make a few more of these and I'll show you when I've completed the maze. We've covered the basic script, so I just wanna show you what your outcome is, so I'll meet you when I've done that. Uh, hey guys, so one thing I forgot to cover was that I covered this in my last platformer, so as uh, a scrolling platformer, so while you n remember that scroll X if you want to change it, you add one to this number and you take away one. While that happens, the scratch the scroll y goes up by 0 0.7 so if i want to put this underneath i have to put in negative 0 0.3 because i mean yeah negative 0 point i mean negative 0 0.7 yeah i have to put in negative 0 0.7 and not negative one because I think the length in Scratch is longer than the width of the Scratch screen. I think that might be why, but now as you can see, it does work. That's... See? It does work. That's... I don't know why, but 
that is the reason that is what happened so just bear in mind that while this goes up by one this goes up by 0 0.1 or down by 0 0.1 so let me make a bit more hey guys so i i'm wait i'm just gonna hide these variables because they are irritating me so i made like one two three four five six maps it's not enclosed you can escape easily and i also added this cool background it's really easy to make just go to backdrop and change it <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna it's really easy it's really simple there's not that much places Okay, to here, to here, going to here, going to here, escape, going to here. Yeah, and that's kind of all of it. So, if you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!